What if the pill you take every morning, the one meant to protect your stomach, was quietly harming your brain? Imagine this. You're having a normal day, you open your phone to call someone, and suddenly their name slips from your memory. It feels small, harmless. But what if it isn't? According to research from Harvard Medical School and JAMA Neurology, some of the world's most commonly used acid reflux medications, PPIs, may be linked to a significantly higher risk of dementia in older adults. And here's the shocking part. Millions of people take these medications daily without knowing they could affect memory, cognition, and long-term brain health. Today, we're breaking down the five PPIs most associated with severe dementia risk, the science behind the danger, and what you can do to protect yourself. Before we begin, drop a comment and tell me where you're watching from, and have you ever taken any of these medications? Let's get started. Number 1. Omeprazole, Prilosec. Let's start with the most common one, Omeprazole, also known as Prilosec. It's one of the top 10 most used medications in the entire world, and millions of adults over 50 take it every single day, often for years at a time. But here's the part many people never hear about. Long-term omeprazole use has been strongly linked to cognitive decline, memory problems, and even dementia-like symptoms, especially in older adults. And the science behind this is both fascinating and alarming. First, omeprazole dramatically reduces stomach acid. That's why it's effective for heartburn, but stomach acid isn't the enemy. It's actually essential for absorbing key nutrients, especially vitamin B12, one of the most important vitamins for brain function. Multiple studies, including those from Harvard Medical School, show that omeprazole users have a much higher chance of developing B12 deficiency. And when B12 drops low, the brain begins to suffer. You may experience forgetfulness, trouble concentrating, confusion, mood changes, tingling or numbness, symptoms that closely resemble Alzheimer's disease. Some seniors taking omeprazole for over a year have been misdiagnosed with dementia, only to learn later that it was actually caused by B12 deficiency. But that's not all. Omeprazole also affects the brain in another way, by altering the gut microbiome. Your gut produces neurotransmitters and communicates directly with the brain through the gut-brain axis. When acid levels drop too much, harmful bacteria can grow, healthy bacteria decline and inflammation rises. Chronic inflammation is one of the strongest predictors of future dementia. Researchers have also found that omeprazole may interfere with how the brain clears beta amylide, the toxic protein linked to Alzheimer's. So while omeprazole can be helpful short-term, using it long-term, especially for 12 months or more, can quietly impact nutrient levels, gut health, and brain function. If you've been taking omeprazole for years, Talk to your doctor about checking your B12 levels and exploring safer alternatives. Number 2. Esomeprazole, Nexium Next on the list is Esomeprazole, widely known as Nexium, often called the little purple pill. It's marketed as one of the strongest, fastest-acting PPIs available, and because of that reputation, millions of people, especially seniors, take it daily for years. But beneath its popularity lies a growing concern in the scientific community, its potential connection to memory loss, accelerated cognitive aging, and dementia. Let's break down why. Esomeprazole works by powerfully suppressing acid production in the stomach. But like other PPIs, this dramatic reduction in acid affects more than just reflux. It affects the entire digestive process. Acid is essential for breaking down food, activating enzymes, and absorbing nutrients like magnesium, calcium, and vitamin B12. Studies published in JAMA Neurology found that long-term PPI users, including Nexium users, had a significantly higher risk of developing dementia, especially those over age 60. One of the most alarming findings comes from research involving brain imaging. Scientists discovered that people taking esomeprazole long-term showed increased levels of beta amyloid, the sticky protein that accumulates in Alzheimer's disease. In simple terms, Nexium may interfere with the brain's natural cleaning process, the system that clears waste and damaged proteins while you sleep. When the system slows down, harmful plaques can accumulate. 
Another major issue is magnesium deficiency. Low magnesium levels are linked to brain fog, poor focus, difficulty learning, mood instability, higher risk of neurological disorders. Esomeprazole is one of the PPIs most strongly associated with chronic low magnesium, especially when used beyond 12 to 24 months. On top of that, esomeprazole disrupts the gut microbiome, the ecosystem that produces neurotransmitters like serotonin and GABA, which regulate mood and mental clarity. When those bacteria decline, inflammation rises, and inflammation is one of the biggest contributors to cognitive decline. While Nexium can be incredibly effective for short-term relief, taking it for years without medical supervision may slowly increase your risk of memory issues. Number 3. Lansoprazole, Prevacid Now let's talk about Lansoprazole, commonly known as Prevacid, another popular PPI often recommended for chronic heartburn, GERD, and ulcers. It's considered gentle enough for long-term use, and many people have taken it daily for 5, 10, or even 20 years. But recent scientific research suggests a different story, one that raises serious concerns about how this medication may affect the aging brain. Lansoprazole doesn't just reduce stomach acid, it practically shuts down acid production. While that may sound harmless, acid is essential for breaking down food and absorbing nutrients. When acid levels drop too low, the body struggles to extract key nutrients like vitamin B12, magnesium, zinc, and calcium, all of which play crucial roles in brain function. But here's the part that makes lansoprazole especially concerning. Studies published in the FACEB journal show that lansoprazole can actually increase the production of amyloid beta, the toxic protein associated with Alzheimer's disease. Not just indirectly, directly. Researchers found that lansoprazole stimulates enzymes in the brain that create amyloid plaques. These plaques interfere with communication between brain cells, accelerate inflammation, and slowly damage memory and cognition. In simpler terms, Lansoprazole may be contributing to the very brain changes seen in Alzheimer's, and most people taking it have no idea. On top of this, lansoprazole disrupts the gut microbiome. Since the gut produces neurotransmitters like serotonin and GABA, changes in gut bacteria can lead to symptoms like brain fog, low mood or anxiety, poor concentration, fatigue, memory lapses, and in older adults, these symptoms are often mistaken for early dementia. Long-term users also face a higher risk of magnesium deficiency, which worsens memory problems, sleep issues, and nerve function. While Prevacid can be beneficial short-term, taking it for multiple years may increase the risk of cognitive decline. Number 4. Pantoprazole, Protonix Next on the list is Pantoprazole, widely known as Protonix a medication millions of seniors take every day for chronic acid reflux and GERD. It's often considered one of the safer PPIs because it tends to cause fewer stomach side effects. But when it comes to long-term brain health, pantoprazole raises several serious concerns that most people never hear about. Pantoprazole powerfully suppresses stomach acid production, sometimes by more than 90%. While this helps stop heartburn, it also stops the stomach from absorbing essential nutrients, especially magnesium, which plays one of the most important roles in brain health. Studies published in Neurology and the Journal of the American Geriatrics Society show that seniors taking pantoprazole for longer than one year have a much higher risk of severe magnesium deficiency, and that deficiency is strongly linked with cognitive decline. But the concern doesn't end there. Research suggests pantoprazole may interfere with the brain's detoxification processes, particularly the glymphatic system, the system responsible for clearing out damaged proteins like beta amyloid, which is heavily associated with Alzheimer's disease. When this system slows down, waste builds up. Over time, this can contribute to memory loss, reduced mental clarity, and accelerated aging of the brain. Pantoprazole also alters the gut microbiome shifting the balance of good and bad bacteria. Since the gut produces neurotransmitters that impact memory and mood, and inflammation, especially chronic inflammation, is one of the strongest predictors of dementia. So while pantoprazole can be effective for short-term relief of heartburn or ulcers, 
using it long-term without regular medical monitoring may quietly increase your risk of cognitive impairment. If you've been taking Protonix for more than a few months, ask your doctor to check your magnesium levels and whether non-PPI alternatives may be safer for you. Number 5. Rabeprazole Asapex Finally, let's look at Rabeprazole, known by the brand name Asapex. It's not as famous as Omeprazole or Nexium, but it's still prescribed to millions of adults, especially older adults who need long-term treatment for GERD, ulcers, or chronic acid reflux. And just like other PPIs, Rabeprazole carries some concerning risks when used for long periods, particularly when it comes to brain health and cognitive function. Rabeprazole reduces stomach acid so effectively that it can lead to deficiencies in several key nutrients, especially vitamin B12. B12 is essential for maintaining the protective covering around nerves, the myelin sheath, and for producing neurotransmitters that support memory and concentration. When B12 drops, symptoms may include memory lapses, confusion, numbness or tingling, mood changes, dementia-like cognitive decline. This is why some seniors taking rabeprazole long-term have been mistakenly diagnosed with early Alzheimer's before discovering that the real cause was a severe B12 deficiency. Another major concern is inflammation. Rabeprazole significantly alters the gut microbiome, the delicate ecosystem of bacteria that regulates immunity, digestion, and even mental health. When this balance is disturbed, inflammation throughout the body increases. Chronic inflammation is one of the strongest contributors to cognitive decline and neurodegenerative diseases. But perhaps the most troubling finding is that rabeprazole may interfere with the brain's ability to eliminate beta amyloid, the toxic protein associated with Alzheimer's disease. Over time, the buildup of these plaques can silently damage memory centers in the brain. Older adults and long-term users, especially those taking rabeprazole for more than one year, appear to be at the highest risk. While rabeprazole is effective for controlling severe acid conditions, using it continuously without medical review can slowly increase your risk of cognitive problems. If you've been on Asapex for months or years, talk to your doctor about checking your B12 levels, reviewing your dosage, and exploring safer long-term alternatives. Safer Alternatives While PPIs can be helpful for short-term use, they're often taken far longer than necessary. The good news is that several safer, less aggressive alternatives can control reflux without the long-term risks to brain health. One common option is H2 blockers, such as famotidine, pepsid. These reduce stomach acid more gently and are generally safer for long-term use. Antacids like calcium carbonate can provide fast relief for occasional heartburn without affecting nutrient absorption. Another effective option is alginates, which create a protective raft in the stomach that blocks acid from rising into the esophagus, perfect for nighttime reflux. Lifestyle changes also make a big difference. Avoiding late-night meals. Elevating the head of the bed. Reducing processed foods. Losing even a small amount of weight. Limiting caffeine and alcohol. Before switching medications, always consult your doctor. They can help you choose the safest approach based on your symptoms and overall health. If you found this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for weekly science-based health videos for seniors. Thanks for watching.